Hi friends. Can scientists trick the brain to think that broccoli tastes like chocolate? Please see. Neurogastronomy. The science of how our brains perceive the flavor of food. Gordon M. Shepard, neuroscientist at Yale University School of Medicine is credited with coining the term neurogastronomy. The concept of neurogastronomy was the focus of the International Conference in Lexington, Kentucky on 7th of November, 2015. Many of the discussion focused on manipulating flavor experiences using all the senses. Flavors of the food can be changed by manipulating the neurological signals perceived by the brain rather than changing the cooking style. The clinical implications for such neurogastronomic techniques are, the nutritious food can be made more appealing to people whose taste and smell receptors are greatly altered because of chemotherapy. For patients with compulsive eating or obesity, this technique can make nutritious foods tempting like the junk foods they crave. People who have lost their sense of smell are another population that might benefit from neurogastronomy. The close link between the senses of taste and smell is widely known. But exactly how the taste and odor systems work together isn't well understood. The presence of odor receptors in the brain was discovered in 1991 by Richard Axel and Linda Buck of Columbia University. They won the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 2004 for that. By manipulating how the brain experiences odor, researchers can influence how it experiences taste. The research is still in its early days and scientists are not sure enough to determine which odors to manipulate to change flavors reliably. Humans have 350 smell receptors in the brain, far fewer than dogs. Dogs have 1,200 and elephants with 2,000. Neuroscientists help research advances in neurogastronomy can make it possible one day to manipulate taste perception neurologically. Gordon Shepard started studying the sense of smell and how odor is processed by neurological circuits in the brain decades ago. The olfactory system detects both environmental smells as well as retronasal smells. While chewing the food, retronasal smell originate inside the body and are critical to flavor perception. The reactive molecules released from food stimulate the sensory cells and the signals are carried to brain's olfactory bulb. The signals are processed by the olfactory cortex. But there are extraordinary ramifications in food flavors that aren't adequately recognized. What a person perceives as a single odor sensation is a mixture of odor chemicals. Food addiction stimulates similar areas of the brain as those in humans addicted to drugs. Some experiments show taste may change depending on smells in the environment, or even with visual expectations of a food. A better understanding of how the senses integrate to create appetite will help to craft more and better creative palate memories. Thus manipulating taste might improve cancer patients' quality of life. When you lose the sense of taste, it can be life-threatening. Meat, for instance, will taste like sawdust on chewing. Chemotherapy is notorious for that. In the near future, the researchers will be able to identify patterns unique to different odors. That will be a starting point for odor images perceived by the brain. Then it is possible to trick the brain to think that broccoli tastes like chocolate and help patients with low appetite to regain motivation to eat. Hoping for that day science changed the way food tastes by manipulating neurological signals inside a subjector TMS body, rather than changing external characteristics such as cooking style, feeding environment or the food itself. Thank you.